guys it's Nikki and welcome to my channel thank you so much for watching today's haul video for all of the fun items that I grabbed during the run Disney Expo so if you have no idea what run Disney is run Disney is a super fun event that happens four times in Walt Disney World and now they've actually officially brought back the Disneyland runs as well but there are four weekends throughout the season which is November through about April ish and they just have different races so they have a 5k a 10k a half and then during marathon weekend which we just returned from is when they have the full marathon so we actually did the half marathon it did get cut short actually because of weather but we still had such a great time but the big thing about run Disney in our opinion is the expo is so much fun obviously the races and everything that's what you're there for but the expo is such a great place to just chat and meet people and of course shop for the super fun run disney merch so before so besides Run Disney, we did enjoy the parks, and so I have a couple of items that I just found throughout the parks that I'm going to show you today, but majority of my items are going to be from the Run Disney Expo. Some of the items were free, and I'll let you know which ones we just got from vendors that were there, but majority of the things I did pay for, and I am very excited to show you all of our fun new Run Disney items. To start, let's get started with drinkware so during the marathon weekend last year they did have a mug and i was able to purchase it i grabbed it and then we learned that they missed one of the park icons on the mug and honestly it's like one of my favorite ones it is such like great quality it's very big i love big mugs and so this year when i saw it their mug for 2024 i was like oh i need that immediately i can not wait to use this i um actually just got back a couple of days ago and i immediately did this video because i need to use this mug <laughs> um so it just says marathon weekend 2024 run disney it is huge and i believe it was only 20 dollars, which for a disney mug is pretty accurate but it is so big and i was like that's pretty cheap for this big of a mug like how freaking cute is that and and then the other beverage item that i purchased was the turbis tumbler for the run disney weekend so you just you have the marathon weekend logo with the characters and the run disney logo right below it there we go. And I love Turvis tumblers. I do love like my Stanley and my larger tumblers, but these ones are just so cute and they just get me every time with these fun designs. The amount of Turvis tumblers that we have is ridiculous, but I just love getting them for all of the different events and then it's fun using them because like, oh wow, like we went there and i learned that they have a great like exchange policy or return policy if yours gets cracked or like there's how it works is like the design goes like inside the mug and if that ever gets um like water in it or anything they'll give you a brand new one with your design for free so just know that they have great return policy great customer service and then this one was 35 dollars something else as well um with the expo you can mobile check out and all of your like annual pass or dvc discounts do apply so that is also a big plus and then the other beverage item that i purchased from the run disney was this is my first lug lug i don't know how you pronounce it bag we got this for a our water bottle holder it fits my really large simply modern um water bottle as well but it is insulated inside and this will be great for the parks like if we're just running in for the night or just like don't need a ton of things to carry around it has two pockets up front and then a pocket on the side you can carry it as a crossbody or you could actually carry it like around your waist to if that shoot your fancy but it has a drawstring area up here so it'll fit to like probably any water bottle size they had a marathon weekend one as well but we went for the generic run disney vibes 
So the last beverage item that I purchased in the parks was the new Starbucks Been There series for Frozen. And so they came out with an Arendelle design, it has Olaf and Elsa, and then Arendelle obviously down there, and Anna, and just the different Frozen designs. And then on the back you have Kristoff and Sven. It is so stinking pretty. We love having these. We use these all of the time. It's not huge, but I just love the Ben There series mugs. And it took us a while to find this in the park. So they're not in the other Starbucks, like in Epcot and Magic Kingdom, but we did find it in the Starbucks in Animal Kingdom. And then our friend found it in Creations in Epcot. So they're kind of all over the place, but just keep looking if you can't find it right away. They had one random item that we got in the Mexico Pavilion is this little cute alabrije. I apologize if I am not pronouncing that correctly, but it is my first little shoulder plus show. If you don't know how these work, this is a magnet and it just goes right on your shoulder. And then your little guy, you have to find the magnet just sticks and he stays there and is literally the cutest thing ever. I just love how cute they are. The Mexico Pavilion is our favorite pavilion probably at the moment just because of La Cava avocado margaritas all day long. Um, but this little guy was just so cute. During our stay, we did a really fun tour. We did the Wild Africa Trek, and this was actually our second time doing it. We did it for the first time during our honeymoon, and you get a water bottle, and then you, which I'll leave a photo of that here. I'm just too lazy to go downstairs and grab it. But then you also get a fun little keepsake name tag. You just have your name on it, and you wear this at first, and then you'll put it on your water bottle once they like remember your name. Um, but these are the really two fun free items that we got during our tour free. Um, and then let's jump into, should we do pins or expo? Let's jump into pins. So we actually, I actually got a lot of pins. I actually didn't get a ton of pins this trip. I am starting pin trading, so that is really exciting too. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a video on that. But I got this big hunker chunker of 2024 pins. These are actually going to go to my nephews and my niece. I get them pins every time we travel to Walt Disney World as just like a little fun gift from me to them and this set of six was $35 and the other 2024 pins I believe were like $15 and so now they'll each get two instead of one which is really fun I haven't decided how I'm gonna divvy those up yet but love a good fun pin set and then I bought myself um, a couple of fun 2024 pins. I love getting the spinner ones. I wasn't able to find this one at first and so I got nervous and bought just this generic 2024 one, which this one's still cute, but the spinner ones are like my go-to. I have them from the past couple of years and I was really excited when I saw this guy um, because I did get a lot of Marathon Weekend pins. So the two pins I got from the expo were the pass holder pin. So it just has Mickey and this was like the pass holder design. I also got a shirt that I'll show you in a few with the, with this design as well. And then just the generic Marathon Weekend 2024 pin with the character design. So far the past couple of years, they've had like a huge one and it is just so cute, but I think it's like 40 or $50 and that's just like too much for a pin for me. Like I can't, I can't do that. Um, but then you are able to pre-purchase some pins and the pins go pretty quickly in the expo. So if you ever do a run Disney event and you're like, okay, I need this pin or I need these magnets definitely pre-purchase is super easy to pick up and then you absolutely know like you are set in stone of getting that item and don't have to fight the crazy crowds for it so we pre-purchased the half marathon pins and what we got for that was we got the just regular 13.1 half marathon pin 
We also got the I Did It pin, and Donald and Daisy are the like character themes for the half marathon, but this one is actually a hinged pin. And so when you open it, it says I Did It Marathon Weekend 13.1 2024. And then finally, the holy grail, the pin that everybody wants to get is the metal replica pin. So every metal has like its own replica and so it's just a little baby metal. Everyone loves to put these on their little new Wemos or their wishables for Dopey. And I just love the design of this pin. So I was really happy when we were still able to pre-order it because I did not want to stress about not getting this pin. So since we're just at the expo now, let's just stick with all the rest of our expo merch. So something else that I always like to get during our Run Disney weekends are magnets. So these are the larger magnets and it'll cu cut out to the shape of Mickey. So this one was the pass holder one. And then I also got just the generic marathon weekend one. And then finally, the 13.1, I believe these, with my discount were maybe like $10. And I love having these and we put them on our fridge and it is just fun to like look at them and remember all the fun times that we had when we did those different races. So the magnets and the pins are definitely an item that I always try to get every Run Disney weekend that we do. Um, I am going for a complete perfect season next year, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. It's going to be very exciting. So now let's try about the apparel at the expo. So how the expo works is that they have apparel for generic Run Disney and then all the races, all the challenges, and then pass holders as well. So there are a lot of options, but there wasn't a sweatshirt this year and I was really sad about that because I just love like a sweatshirt moment. I do like the spirit jerseys. I just don't wear them as often as I used to. And so I was really hoping for a sweatshirt. Didn't get a sweatshirt, so maybe next time. But when you do sign up for the races, you do get a free shirt for every run that you do. And so for our half marathon, this is actually Jackson's. Um, this is the men's cut. And so the women's cut just is like a V cut at the top. Um, and you can get whatever like cut you want. If you get a size and then it just like doesn't fit right or you want it to be bigger or smaller, um, you can exchange it at the expo. So that is also good to know. Uh, but I love this. It is so cute. We wore this to Magic Kingdom on one of our days and it was just so cute. We were just in our little matching moment. I really do enjoy this i honestly don't know how much he will actually wear this um shirt but i am here for it and i will wear his because i love a good disney tee and they're very thin um they're always long sleeve but i really do enjoy running in these or just working out in them just kicking around in them as well so i'm always down for a, a good free t-shirt mentioned with the pin this was the pass holder design so we all ended up getting these ones I just loved the Mickey he is just so sinking cute and then it says pass holder along the side with the marathon weekend logo at the bottom so then a new apparel item for me this year were some cute run Disney shorts so it just has the generic run Disney logo in the bottom corner there you don't have a place where you can like try on items but i just like threw these on over my leggings and i really liked how they fit and then also um how the expo works is that everybody just like grabs the size that you think you might need a couple of the shirts are weird when it comes to sizing so we either will grab like our regular size and a size up or a size down and then you take all of your items and then you can go like sit in a little area 
try them on, like throw them over your t-shirts. I honestly like just took my t-shirt off and had my sports bra on and like tried um, this next one on just because it is a woman's cut and so it just like fit different and I wanna make sure I was getting the correct size. But then you can go put all of your other items back for the other guests. But this is the I Did It shirt. So for every race they have like an I Did It. This was the woman's, they have like a gray for the guys. But I just loved the Donald and Daisy design. And then on the back, they had the just like regular generic 13.1 logo that they used for the race this year. Like the generic Grand Disney merch that you can get. And then they have like the generic Marathon Weekend stuff. So this is the Marathon Weekend long sleeve. So it has that logo. Same as the Tumblr on the back. And then on the front, it has Marathon Weekend like going down the side. So like I said earlier, my goal is to complete a full perfect season next year. And so that means I have to do Dopey or I get to do Dopey. Hopefully, we have to get registered first. But because of that, we wanted to get something um, that had Dopey on it. And it said running is no. Running is no minor fee, and like Dopey is obviously like a minor. And I really liked this one because it doesn't have a year on it. So if I'm not gonna run that race and I'm not gonna like want that merge, um, but this one did not have the year on it, so I was okay with getting it. And they do have those types of shirts for each of the races. So they'll just have, I think one said like running for snacks or running on snacks or something like that. They have a lot of different designs for each of the race with the characters that again is very generic but if you know like if you know you know when it comes to the characters and like the design and the style of it and then the last two apparel items that I grabbed were just from the parks so these were kind of like all over social and everything but they did fun character sweatshirts and like I said I love a good sweatshirt and so I went with Mickey it was really hard I couldn't decide if I wanted Mickey or Donald's but I just I got sad putting the Mickey down I did get sad putting the Donald down but I'm like oh my gosh I cannot leave without Mickey and it's cute because it's I feel like I'm using the word generic a lot, but it is. It's just a classic Mickey sweatshirt. They had Goofy, Donald, Mickey, and Minnie, y'all, they did dirty. Hers was like a orange and her red, it just like did not, it just, it just wasn't it. It was giving Halloween and we were, we weren't about that life. Um, so we just went with Mickey. Don't ask me if Donald's there in March when we go back if I would get him possibly but we just got Mickey this time the other item that I got I was like pumped about and knew immediately I needed to buy it, buy it. um it is this adorable daisy sweatshirt and it is so cozy and fuzzy I don't know if you can like see that texture oh my gosh but the high is going to be negative five at my hometown right now and at the time filming of this video i don't know when you're watching this but it's gonna be negative five as a high and you can catch me cozied up in my fun daisy sweatshirt on the couch trying trying to stay warm Try, trying to do the best but expo i can advent health that's who it was they were handing out these adorable sticker sheets and i of course had to get two and they just have like fun little run disney guys on them and then the shoes with the different distances had to grab these and then i also had to grab our little fun fan here like it literally is a fan and like plastic but what i loved about it was it has all of the upcoming dates on it it's very small so you're not gonna be able to read it but I've just like been kind of stressing over registering for all of the upcoming races that I need to register for or that I get to register for. And so I'm like, you know what? This is going to be great. I need to like reorganize my life and like this room. So stay subscribed or subscribe to the channel. Hit that button um, so we can help each other or you can just watch me get my life together. If you have your life together comment down below let me know um but i just need to like reorganize everything finally need to do our basement now i'm getting on a tangent but i really liked how they had all the dates and i want to like display that somewhere so it's always like top of mind 
Um, and then with the races, you obviously get your bibs. So these are just like so fun to have. I was like harping on Jackson. I was like, do not mess up your bib, sir. Um, a couple of people have like bib covers, so we might get those for next season. But I also need to get like different bib holders. We had just like cheap ones from Amazon. Those are not it. Um, so we will splurge and get like the bib board ones next time for sure. And then we are Disney Vacation Club members, so we had to hit up the Disney Vacation Club booth, and they gave us this little headband. It's I don't I yeah I don't know I don't know if I'll ever wear this but maybe maybe like when I'm running um but it says Disney Vacation Club on it it is very stretchy so it like it's super nice material um and then I also got a, a couple of more of their like luggage tags I love these they are just like silicone and they are pretty sturdy but like if they get caught on something they're not just like gonna rip off so got two of those got a couple more disney stickers and then also at the expo they have tons of different vendors and one of the things that i bought last year so gooder sunglasses and i've loved my purple ones so much and i've worn them a ton so of course i needed to get a new pair so i went ahead and got an all black pair which these are super lightweight, very easy to run in, and they do not like slip or fall off your face. And then I also got this like lilac-ish, pink, purple vibes. These are like really cool, and I'll definitely run in these. The black ones I got just to like wear every day. I loved my purple ones, but I could never wear them for like photos in the parks or anything because they had like a green lens and it just like looked weird. And so black ones definitely are the way to go. I am always a person who gets nervous about my sunglasses falling off on rides, even during the day. And I wore those on Big Thunder. And they even take you, they tell you to take yours off during Big Thunder. Did I take them off during Big Thunder? No, I wore them during Seven Doors Mine Train for the first time and I was real nervous, but they stayed on and it was great. So there's that. And then finally, the grand finale, we got our medals. So how they hand out the medals now, they just literally hand it to you in a plastic bag. They used to put them on you, but I don't think they do that anymore because people were complaining that they were getting chipped. And so these are the medals for the half marathon this year. Yeah, honestly, y'all, I do it for the metal. They are just so stinking cool. And then where is my little metal pin so you can see that they match? This one's a little bit more rose gold than this one is, but it just says run Disney on the back. And then you have like your little spinner. Mostly all the metals have like some interactive element to them like the people are bound to like go up and down and then the ribbon of it it just says half marathon 13.1 miles 2024 and then it has donald and daisy up there as well that is going to be it for my haul video today thank you so much for watching we really do love marathon weekend and just like run disney in general like i said make sure to subscribe to the channel because we have so many fun run disney things coming in the future the first week our next weekend that i am doing is november so they do have princess and springtime for this season but i'm going to start my perfect season next season so i will be at the wine and dine and then marathon weekend princess for the first time and springtime for the first time as well which is really exciting i think i'm most looking forward to princess maybe just because i've never done it before i've technically been there during springtime but we didn't run the race so I'm very much looking forward to all the fun races to come but thank you again for watching today's video let me know in the comments down below if you've ever done run Disney if you have any questions about run Disney always happy to answer those for you but I hope you guys have a magical rest of your day and I will see you real soon bye yeah.